Hey everybody, it's Rachel with Rachel Q Stitches and welcome to my channel. Today I have another thrift store quilt top that I am going to attempt to make. Do you remember this bag? Um, I showed this bag in my last uh, thrift store haul and um, I think I paid $3 for it. There's no price on it and I think I just grabbed it out of a box that they hadn't yet unpacked <laughs> and she charged me $3 for it. Um, I think she said, how does sound? And I want to say it was $3. It's got some pieces um, like this. It was made with a serger. And um, so I'm going to attempt to do something with these. There's this right here. Several of them that have the four strips. And then a, <clears throat> and then a couple of them have um, three strips right here, but there's this green strip right here. So I am going to go to my cutting table, go to my ironing table, get all this stuff pressed and ironed. And I think I have an idea of what I wanna make um, and how I wanna do it, but I'm not quite sure until I really get it pressed and um, figured out and get this sewn onto these pieces and, um, then I can decide what I want to do. So I'm going to go over there to my cutting and pressing area and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I decided to go with the six and a half inch ruler uh, square on the diagonal. Um, and I think I should have probably put a new blade in this <laughs> rotary cutter because let me tell you, cutting through those surged seams was a pain. And um, it was just, it was too much. It was I was sawing back and forth some of these pieces. It was just too much. But I persevered because I didn't have an extra blade in my possession. <laughs> in my in all of my stash, I did not have a blade. But hey, here I am. I'm just cutting these squares and um, deciding that I'm going to just kind of make a string quilt layout and just see what I have after cutting all of these. I ended up with some really odd little pieces and I'm going to decide what to do with these later on. I'm not sure at this point if I was going to put them in the quilt or not. But um, anyway, so um, I just went ahead. Out of each strip that I had, I ended up getting four of these little squares. Um, I know I probably could have gotten more if I had just not cut them on a diagonal, but I just really wanted to go with a diagonal cut. So that's that's what I went ahead and did. Um, so anyway, so that is what this is here. And I'll go ahead and speed things up so you're not too terribly bored with watching me cut. Okay, so here you see I sewed the green strip onto the remaining pieces that I had. And um, I'm just cutting them just like I did the other strips. Um, once again, being dangerous with cutting under my arm. But um, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> so I'm cutting these the same way. I actually had more of the ones with the green strip. And if I had thought about it, I would have um, been a little bit more um, thoughtful and just sewed an extra one with the muslin, st muslin strip. But I didn't. Um... And so you'll see later on how I manage that. But um, anyway, so here is the green strip being cut. And um, it's pretty much the same. So I'll go ahead and just let y'all wash me a little bit faster. Um, and then y'all can see what I decide to do. Okay, so here I'm going to sit here and try to decide how I want to place this uh, block together. I'm trying to decide if I want the solid color in the center um, here, excuse my messy desk, uh, or if I want the solid color on the outside. So I'm going to lay them out and just figure out what it is that I want to do um, in putting this together. And um, yeah, there I am cleaning my space. Um, I don't know why my stuff is moving so slow. I don't think I move this slow in real life, but I might 
you never know. Anyway, so here I am figuring out the green in the center and then I switch it around and I put the green on the outside and here this is when I said nope, nope, no, it's going to be green in the center. So that's what I decided to go ahead and do was stick the solid colors in the center. So here it is laid out on the carpet trying to figure out exactly um, if I want to sew them together like this or if I want to add borders and I did ultimately decide to go with borders um, but I didn't have enough green to put sashing in between um, the I should say sashing and not borders I didn't have enough green to put sashing top middle bottom and sashing in between the borders but I did have enough to go ahead and strip a piece off of some of the scraps and piece them together and you can see here it is finished and where I just pointed they don't match up but you know me I don't really mind so um, I just left it as it is. I tried to decide if I wanted to fix it, but I didn't. But there is a little, there is this space right here um, on the end where I'm trying to decide if I want to do green or off-white. And I went ahead and I had some muslin and I went ahead and just cut some off-white strips and decided to add those to the end for the end sashing. Okay, so here are all my scraps. This is what I have left over. So stay tuned for quilt top number two out of my $3 bag. I'm going to figure out what to do with all this. I think it'll make a cute quilt top. I already kind of played around with it a little bit, so I think I know what I want to do. So stay tuned, and let me tell you, for this quilt top, I played the ultimate game of thread chicken. Um, it was sketchy there for a while, but I went ahead and did it, and my bobbin was actually almost done. And here it is. There it is. There is the finished top. It needs a good pressing, um, but I am happy with how it turned out. It is very much baby quilt size, or baby size, I should say but um, I am loving the way it turned out. So thank you so much. So thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for joining me um, in the making of this top. I really, really appreciate it. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun making this top and figuring out exactly what I wanted to do. Um, but again, I appreciate you joining me and I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.